If you don't know, now you know. You're not rocking with your host with the most, Don Tyler, a.k.a. Mr. Westmade. And I got Coach Z with me, baby. Man, it's just Zach Dombrowski. You got your host here, Zach Dombrowski. We're here to talk about Great Race. First episode. Tell them what the show's about. Man, we got our pilot episode. First episode of Mustang TV. A very interpersonal show where you can get to learn more about your peers around campus, as well as what's going on in our community here at Western New Mexico University. Like I said, this year we got Great Race going mm. on, man. I mean, there's competition. I mean, the teams are trash talking each other. They're excited. They're ready. I mean, we got we got little rascals. I hear C's get degrees. It's just with the business. They're just monsters, bro. Bro, bomb squad. I don't know. They got the they got the foreigners. Yeah. They got the tradition. They got they got all that. They they've been around. They got the, they got the experience. I don't know. I'm excited. This is your first great race. I mean, I'm excited. I want everybody to come out. Everybody turn up. Let me know what great race is all about. Cause this is my first one. So let's get it, baby. Stay tuned for the end of the episode. We're gonna have the schedule. We're gonna have what's going on in Great Race. Who's gonna be here? We got uh, representatives. Interview with Zay Khalil. All that. Watch out for it. We even got a message from the president. I'm President Joe Shepard of Western New Mexico University, and you're tuned in to Mustang TV. Second, team captain also for the Little Rascals. How do you guys feel about Great Race this year? I feel pretty confident about the Great Race this year. You know, it's a school participation. A lot of people participate in this event. The more the people participate, the more live it will get. We have a lot of competition, you know, with C's get degrees and other teams like that. But as a Little Rascal team captain, I say we're coming for that number one trophy. What do you say, Jawan? To all teams out there, be afraid. Be very afraid. So you guys are the new kids on the block. What do the little rascals possess that can help you guys propel to a first place victory? One thing we do possess is Club 617, I tell you that. Club 617 will be the liveest party of Great Race. If you attended Club 617 before, you know how live it gets. Wild, females, males possibly. What do you say? Hmm? Yeah. What is your guys' biggest strength as a team? Ooh, ooh, good question, good question. I say the will to win. What our team possess is hard. I honestly think great race is about, what do you say, parties? And that's our biggest strength right there. When Club 617 is up here, everybody's going to be like, oh, let's go to Club 617. And I heard DJ Relish is the best DJ in town. And he does play the slaps. So who was your biggest competition going into this year's great race? Good question. Good question. I have to say, C's get degrees. Last year, they participated. They had a bunch of people doing a bunch of events, you know. They had a great participation in the talent show. But like you say, a champion can get beat any given day. And that champion will be the Little Rascals this year. Hello, my name is David Gota, co-captain of Bomb Squad. And I'm Omar Lopez, I'm a co-captain for Bomb Squad. How do you guys feel about Great Race this year? We feel confident since we've been here for the longest. We have good traditions. We've done this a lot of times and we've been through a lot of races before. Yeah, I think we're really excited about it. We've been planning on it for a while now. We've been uh, out there this week, last week. Uh, we're really getting prepared for it, so we can't, we can't wait for it to come. So, it's to my understanding that C's get degrees has the trophy at their house. Yeah, they have the trophy, the week trophy, but we won the main race, the main race trophy. I think that's what they're talking about. So based upon last year's results, what do you guys think you should do this year to go ahead and win the great race again? Well, we need to get more participation on, on our week events. Uh, those are the ones that matter. They're, they're smaller events, but they at the end at the end of the day, they, they all add up to, to the actual score. So if we did, we did great on the actual great race, so we just gotta get more more people involved on our uh, week events, so that's what we're gonna do for and this year. To totally, we're gonna change that for sure. Who do you guys think your biggest competition is? 
It's hard to say because uh, I know Cisco degrees, they were a big team, but they kind of got a split there, so... And then uh, I heard the little team, Little Rascals, Yeah, the Little know. Rascals, they are, um, I mean, they're coming, they're coming strong. Yeah, so uh, there's more teams than last year, so we need to see our competition to see uh, who's going to be our stronger competitor. But I think Cisco degrees is still ahead. We'll be prepared. We've been through a lot of races before, like I stated. Hello there. My name is Neil Arusa, co-captain of Seas Get Degrees. I'm Eddie Martinez, co-captain of Seas Get Degrees. How do you guys feel that you're going to do in great race this year? We're feeling confident. We're feeling real confident. We're average as ever. Uh, we're going to really take it to them this year. Give we're, it to them. Yeah, we're going to yeah, give it to them real nice, and uh, we're going to take this trophy. Take it home. Who do you guys think your biggest competition is? Not Bomb Squad. Um, yeah, um, I'm, I'm gonna go with, uh, people probably don't know about it, but I'm gonna go with Little Rascals this year. They're strong. They're, they're, they're strong competitors, not Bomb Squad. They're great. Um, they're really, really, really strong competitors. Not Bomb Squad. Juwan Sumter, Larry, 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 Larry Young, uh, uh, Christian King. Um, they're super awesome. They're great guys, not Bomb Squad. Now, there was a lot of controversy that surrounded C's Get Degrees. What do you guys think about that? I'm just here so I don't get fined. So you guys won last year. This, this is correct. This is correct. That would, that would be um, what my trophy would say. The first place trophy above my fireplace in my home would say. So, based upon last year's results, what do you guys think you need to do this year to repeat? Be average than ever. Be more, be just average. We're gonna, just average as ever. We're going to give it to them. Five foot, average eight American, five foot ten, average American man. Just trying to real hard, just great. Really giving it to them this year. We're giving really going to give it to Giving them. it to them just, hard, average. Yeah, it. just get it. Hi, this is Kyrie Bailey, spokesperson for Mustang Entertainment. I wanted to let everybody know that we got to come out for great race this year, April 13th through April 18th. That's a Saturday. That's the great race day. I want to let everybody know that we got to turn up this year, you know, have fun. I'm calling out everybody from the whole West Coast to the East Coast. It don't even matter. Everybody come out. Let your friends know. Let your family know. It has to go down this year. We got to have fun this year. Turn up. This is Zachary Nebraska. Mustang TV host, retired captain of C's Get Degrees, and here I got Zay Khalil, CEO and founder of C's Get Degrees. Zay, I just want, I want you to tell the viewers, I mean, what was it like to create a great race team for the first time? I mean, it was uh, your junior year, uh, we kind of went in it together, you, you kind of came with, with, to me with the idea and I just kind of ran with it and then we just kind of started something we'd, I'd hope to be a legacy. Oh yeah, definitely. I, th I think that the most important thing is really starting a tradition here. I think great race is one of the most important things about uh, Western Mexican University is our traditions, our legacy, and I think that to be a part of it, starting a team, developing, I think starting a brand in a way, I think that really is like the, the, the trendsetter here at this campus. It's, it helps you get involved in the community, helps you get involved in the university, and you build a sense of community with all that kind of stuff. But it, great experience though, I would never, you know, not do it again. I love. Yeah, I mean, I think I think for me, it was definitely fun. It was it was a little stressful, but the management part and the the leadership of it about it, it was fun. I mean, we we collected the team, we had everybody um, come through, and collecting the money was a pain, and getting the shirt designs and everything. But I think our shirts are fire, and I think that I mean we're starting trends. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, it's all part of the process. It's just collecting money, ordering the shirts, creating your designs. It's part of the process. It's how you do great race. Uh, it's definitely hard. It's definitely difficult. It's not easy at all, but it's worth it at the end of the day. You'll have fun with it. It's part of the process, and it, it, you'll have a great result at the end of the day. I think so we did last year as well, creating our, our tank tops, I mean, our, our polos. We kind of set, set a trend in a way. And I think that's the most important thing is kind of starting a brand. I mean, uh, to really think about it, I mean, with how, what, what great race really is, I mean, everybody thinks about partying and all that stuff, but behind the scenes for the captains, I mean, it's really like a, a professional manner because, I mean, we, we are technically – we were leaders of an organization. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, in definitely. reality, it, it's definitely different than the other aspect of great race. You're behind, you're more behind the scenes. You're getting sponsors. You're getting money. You're get, getting your shirts together. It's it's different. You're, you have to organize your team together to do events. That's not another hard aspect about it as well. It's different, but it's also a fun experience. I would encourage any student, any young student as well, to if you have an idea, if you have a dream to do this, I would definitely encourage you. It's a once lifetime experience, and you're in college one time, so I would definitely pursue it. So, how do you feel about? The new captains. How do you feel about the legacy that you've passed down this year? I'm very confident. I think Nino Larusa, Matthew Grieve, Eddie Martinez. I think they can do a really good job. 
I know that I'll, I'm going help them out a little bit, give them direction here and there, but I know that they'll keep the legacy going. And that's part of Great Race. I know Bomb Squad, they've had a legacy for going for a while now. And that's what I want to do with CCP Grease. I want to keep this legacy going. So I hope that they can one day pass the team down to, you know, freshmen and so on and so forth. So that's part, that's part of the deal. So I'm very confident that they will keep it going. Yeah, I think that you came up with a great idea through with C's Kid Degrees and that I think the legacy is going to be passed down. I think that this team is going to be here for years to come with how many, with how many uh, recruits we got coming in and what we bring. So, I mean, thank you for coming on and thank you for talking to us about the experience and everything. I mean, it's awesome talking to you with it. And I mean, thank you. Thank you.